Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, we are going to find an analytic function whose imaginary part is given. So the imaginary part is v which is minus e power minus 2xy cos of x square minus y square. Now as the first part, we are going to find vx that is the partial derivative of this v with respect to x. So we are going to follow the product rule for these two terms. So the first term derivative is minus e power minus 2xy then by chain rule we have to differentiate the power. Since we do with respect to x this minus 2y is a constant so that will come here. Now the second term is written as it is. Again plus First term should be written as it is, that is minus e power minus 2xy is written as it is. And derivative of cos is minus sin of x square minus y square. And again by chain rule, this is 2x. Now we are going to find vx of z comma 0. When I put y as 0, this entire term becomes 0 because we have y here. So this second part will be when y is 0, the power is totally 0, anything power 0 is 1. So minus e power 0 is 1 and there is a minus sign which is separate. So we will take that minus sign here and this is our term which is 1 and y is 0 and we have minus sign of z square minus 0. So this is only sin z square into 2z. So totally this is 2z this becomes plus 2z into sin z square. Now in the same way we are going to find vy. vy again making product rule. First term derivative is minus e power 2xy into its derivative of the power is minus 2y because sorry minus 2x because y derivative is 1 the remaining are constant then we have to keep cos of x square minus y square as it is plus again minus e power minus 2xy we keep as it is derivative of cos of x square minus y square is minus sin of x square minus y square into minus 2y. Now once again vy of z comma 0 becomes this will be 1 anyway because when power is 0 by replacing y so that is 1 we have a minus sign and this becomes minus 2z and this becomes cos z square and y is 0 and since we have product of y here every term totally it is 0. So this is 2 z into cos z square cos z square z square is in a inner function of the cos. After this we are going to write f of z which is u plus iv and f dash of z becomes ux plus ivx using CR equations ux is equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx. So we replace this ux with vy and thus f dash of z becomes vy plus i v x using milne thompson method f of z will be integral v y of z comma 0 d z plus i integral v x of z comma 0 d z now we are going to substitute v y which is 2 z cos z square integral 2 z cos z square dz 
plus i integral v x is 2 z sin z square 2 z sin z square d z now we go for substitution then we also have plus c let's take the substitution let t equal to z square and 2 its derivative dt is 2z dz again for this term we have to give substitution let's take it as u u equal to z square and d u is 2z dz so this becomes integral this is cos t into dt plus i integral sin t into d sorry sin u sin u into du plus c now when we integrate this this becomes sin t plus i into minus cos u plus c so finally we got f of z and we have to replace in terms of z so f of z becomes sin of z square minus i cos of z square plus c this can be further rearranged by taking minus i common when minus i is common this becomes cos z square and here we don't have minus i so we have to divide by minus i so 1 by minus i into sin z square plus c and to make this term free of i in the denominator we multiply into i with both numerator and denominator so now this i square is minus 1 and already there is a minus sign so this becomes finally minus i into cos z square this i square is minus 1 already there is a minus it become plus so plus i sin of z square plus c and this can be rewritten as e power i z square using Euler's formula so we got the f of z because we know the formula e power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta so in place of theta we have z square so write it back as e power i theta form so it is e power i z square thus we got the f of z which is minus i into e power i z square plus c